Hi, team. Mr. Kepri here. Welcome to this week's Teen Adult Senior Black Belt Track class. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with our natural stance. We're going to snap your attention. Spread your feet. Make a fist. Cover. Close your eyes for a second. Set your attention for the day. Think about what habits you have that you do every day. Small habits, big habits. How they improve your life. How they sometimes get in your way. Open your eyes. Bring your feet together. And curse them out. Relax stance. Hands behind your back. And repeat after me. To build true confidence, I must have knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. All right, team, back out your natural stance. Team, attention. Step on your right leg, back to your ground stance, go up. All right, team, we're going to stop by doing our front kick. We're going to take our back leg, we're going to kick. And we're gonna come right back. So remember when you're doing the front kick, I want you to strike with the ball with the foot, strike in here, knee comes up, strike out, and come right back, hands stay up the entire time. Ready? And go. Hoop. Ready? And go. Hoop. And go. Hoop. And go. Hoop. And go. Hoop. Alright, team, as we're doing our kick, one thing we want to make sure we're doing is we're not just we're not just bringing the leg up, right? I want you to think about pushing the hip forward. You're bringing it here, kick. Drive the hips in and come right back. Pushing in. If there's a wave master in front of you, you'd be knocking the wave master over on each kick. All right, team? And go. Hoop. Go. Hoop. Make sure you keep the hands up, elbows in. Don't let them flare as you kick. Ready to go. Hoop. Go. Hoop. And go. Hoop. Awesome, team. From here, let's go ahead and do some push ups, right? Down your push up position. All right, team. Ready? On my count, right? And go. Gonna go down. One. And down, two, down, three, down, four, and last one, down, five. Awesome, keep back up on your feet. Show me your natural stance. Snap to attention. This time, tap on your left leg, step out of your ground stance, go high. We're gonna do that front kick on the other side. All right, eyes focused on the front, keep, keep, making sure you keep your hands up. Those habits, those little habits, by like keeping your hands up, eyes focused, those add up. Make sure you do the small ones every day to make the big ones happen easier. Ready? And go. Kick, go. Awesome. Ready? And go. Awesome. And go. Awesome. Again, team, make sure you're snapping that leg up. Black comes out. Hip drives it forward. Strike with the bottom of the foot, not with the tippy toes, right? That's going to hurt. Hit something. Want to strike with the bottom of the foot, pushing out. Ready? And go. And go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. Try and keep your back straight as you're kicking. Don't lean it side or backwards. Ready? And go. Awesome. Go. Awesome. And go. Awesome. All right, team, quick snap to attention. Let's go back to our push up position. Going back down to the ground. Ready? And begin. It's going to be one, go, two, down, three, down, four, down, five. Get back up on your feet. Show me your natural stance. Team, snap to attention. Tap on your right leg, back to your ground stance, go higher. Team, this time what we're gonna do, we're gonna go jab, cross, hands reset back to our guard, and kick, right? So, front hand jab, back hand cross, hands come back, one hand on our cheek the entire time, kick, both hands stay up. Right, team? And go, it's gonna be soup, soup, awesome. Go, soup, soup. Awesome. Go. Soup. Soup. Awesome. Go. Soup. Soup. Awesome. Make sure you extend the arms all the way out. No little T-Rex arms all the way out from each of your punches. Full body rotation on that cross. Ready? And go. It's going to be soup. Soup. Awesome. And go. Soup. Soup. Awesome. And go. Soup. Soup. Awesome. All right, team, quick snap to attention. This time. We're gonna do our push-ups again, we're gonna do shoulder tag. We're gonna do a push-up, come back up, two shoulder, one shoulder tag, one shoulder tag on each side, go back down. Ready, team? Let's do it together. Down in our push-up position. Ready, team, and down. Come back up, shoulder tag. That's one, all right, and down. Shoulder tag. All right, that's two. Down, shoulder tag, that's three. Down, shoulder tag, four. And last one, down, shoulder tag, and that's five. Back on your feet. All right, team. Now, tap on your left leg. Step out of your stance, go, ah, team. This time again, jab in front, 
cross with the back. Hands are up, back leg comes up, kicked, and we're going to reset. Ready? And go. Soup, soup. Awesome. Work on that focus, team. Make sure you pick your target and strike at it. I strike to the nose, I kick to the chest. Ready? And go. Soup, soup. Awesome. Ready? And go. Soup, soup. Awesome. Go. Soup, soup. Awesome. And go. Soup, soup. Awesome. Again, keeping the elbows in. Don't let them flare up. It's easy to do that when you're doing the kicks. Either your elbows flare or you drop the hands. We're going to try and keep them up. Elbows are tight, we're protecting ourselves. Ready? And go. Soup, soup. Awesome. Go. Soup, soup. Awesome. And go. Soup, soup. Awesome. All right, feet back to your natural stance. Do our push ups and shoulder tags again. Back down on the ground. All right, team, ready? And down. Two shoulder tags. Ready? And down. Shoulder tags. And again, down. And shoulder tags. And again, down. And shoulder tags. Two more, down. Shoulder tags. And last one, down. And shoulder tags. All right, team, back on your feet. Team, next combination is going to be a jab cross, flip cross. So we'll start with our natural stance. Snap to attention. Top on your right leg. Back to your garden stance. Hands are up. We're doing our jab on our cross. As we do the cross, there, throw our punch back at it. So I'm going to drop back and get my head out of the way. So, so this isn't like a crazy leaning stance or a ducking stance for this one. It's just me moving my head out of the path of their punch. I remember the instructor I trained with once telling me it's like smelling a rose. If someone was offering you a rose to smell, you'd have no problem reaching in and smelling the rose. Someone's throwing a punch at us, our initial response is to duck and hide. I wouldn't think it was like the rose. I just don't want to get pricked by a thorn. It's going to move my face a little bit out of the way, enough for the punch to miss me, but not going too crazy with it. Right? And then we're going to finish up with a cross coming back. So the combination is going to look like this. We're going to go jab, cross, punch is coming in, get out of there, and punch again, right? So jab, cross, slip, and cross. And again, jab, cross, slip, and cross, right? And again, jab, cross, slip. You notice why I'm doing this? Kind of tilting one shoulder away, tilting one shoulder into it. That gives me that power for that cross. And go, jab, cross, slip, cross. And go, jab, cross, slip, cross. And go. Jab, cross, slip, cross. And last one, team. And go. Jab, cross, slip, cross. All right. And switch. Go. All right, team. Front hand jab, back hand cross. Hands come back up. We're going to slip down. Notice what happens when I'm doing this. My back leg bends. I'm not bending the hips. Keep my back straight. Just the back leg drips. Drips out of the way. Turn my body a little sideways. And I'll cross out of this. Right? And go. It's going to be jab, cross, Slip, cross, and go. Jab, cross, slip, cross. Go, jab, cross, slip, cross. And go, jab, cross, slip, cross. Go, jab, cross, slip, cross. And again, go, jab, cross, slip, cross. And watch the elbows, team. Don't let your arms circle out when you're doing the punches. Straight in and straight back, as linear as you can be. Ready, and go, jab, cross, slip, Cross. Go. Jab, cross, slip, cross. And go. Jab, cross, slip. Team, with my as I'm doing the slip, my front hand goes up a little bit higher. It is really kind of augmenting my guard just in case I'm not out of the way enough. I still want to make sure I'm protecting myself. Ready? And go. Jab, cross, slip, cross. Go. Jab, cross, slip, cross. And go. Jab, cross, slip, cross. Back out to your natural stance. Breath into the nose, out to the mouth. Hold it in stage for four seconds. Everyone, let's gather in. Team, these next few weeks, we're going to work on our habits. Habits are those little things we do every day, usually without even thinking about them, but they lead up to these great things, these big things in our life. I want everyone to close your eyes. Take a moment to reflect on your goals you set earlier this year. Then I want to ask yourself, do my daily habits really support those goals? Are we doing the little things every day to get where we want to be? 
It might be your diet, it might be your workout routine, it might be this time you spend building your relationships. Or it might be, even be the kind of media you consume. Right? The next few weeks, we're gonna work on some secrets to building good habits and breaking the not so good ones. All right, team, let's get back to it. Ready to work out, show me your next steps. Team, this self-defense is a two-hand choke from the front. It's for our white through red belt students ages 7 through 12 who are in the junior black belt track. That track is the students who are working toward their junior black belt. They haven't quite earned it yet. So what we're going to be doing is a two-hand choke from the front. If someone chokes us from the front, we're going to take our hand. I'll start with my left hand. I'm going to bring it all the way up in the air as high as I can. I step back with the opposite leg. Left hand comes up. It's going to be my right leg that goes back. I'm going to rotate my body. Pick up this. Walk the elbow down. Strike to their face. Strike to their face. We're going to come around. Stop. Stay back. He can just as easily do this on the other side. So if it's my right arm that goes out, up and nice and high, that's gonna be my left leg that steps back. As I rotate my body, dropping the elbow down, again, punch and punch, or heel palm and heel palm, and then stop, stay back. I'm gonna have my assistant, Mr. Zander, come out here. He's gonna demonstrate this two-hand choke from the front. So he's gonna come up, he's gonna grab hold, he grabs hold, my arm comes up, I step all the way back. I drop the arm down, from here I can punch, or heel palm, I prefer a heel palm for a close range like this, I heel palm into his face, position where I wanna go, I am gonna punch, cover out, stop, stay back. And that is our two hand choke from the front for our students in the junior black belt trap. Give me next step. Our self defense will be cross wrist grab. I'm gonna have my assistant, Mr. Zander, come out here and give me a hand. So what's gonna happen is cross wrist grab, he's gonna take his right hand, he's gonna grab my right hand. So what I'm gonna do first is I step back, as I step back, my arm comes across my body, I counter grab across his wrist. My left arm's gonna come up into an arm bar right across around the base of his elbow. From here I'll take my right leg, I'm gonna step back. So I lock his arm up with the arm bar, as I step back, I'm gonna try and drive him down. So I'm gonna go back, drive him down. From here, I'm gonna finish him off either with a front kick or a punch, I can come in front, or I can do a kick, and then I'm gonna cover out, stop, stay back. What does that mean? All right, so one of the things that's important with this is we do the counter grab, and then I step back home and do some air for a second. We're gonna come back with a counter grab. From here, a lot of times I'll see people who are stepping back and they're just keeping the arm up in the air. And if you keep your arm here, you're gonna have a good arm bar, you're gonna spin around, but you're not gonna get him to the ground. So. As I'm stepping back, as I want to bring him down, I'm going to step back in my fist, almost like doing a hammer fist where I lock the arm and I'm going to bring it down, and that's what's going to help drive them down. So we're going to do that one more time. Okay, I'm going to right here. I'm going to step back. As I step back, my hand goes into the counter grab. Left elbow goes, my left arm goes into his elbow. From here, I'm going to step in as a step forward, hammering it down, pushing down. It's going to drive him down. Kick to his face. Cover out, stop, stay back. Susanna, if we can do this from the other side. All right, so from right here, he's gonna grab hold. So again, he's stepping in. As, sorry, I'll step back. I'm gonna step back with my counter grab. I'm gonna get my arm here. As I'm doing this, I step back. Notice my back leg, I'm stepping around. I'm not stepping into him, I'm stepping around. I step around, I push the hand down. I start from here, I push the hand down. Get him to the ground, kick, cover out, stop, stay back. Here we are, sir. That is our self defense for cross wrist grab. We're going to be doing the Fang the Snake. This is for our senior black belts, first degree black belts, and higher. This is a Lapel grab followed by a shoulder grab. Standard to my hand out here. So the first thing we're gonna do is he's gonna grab hold with his lapel grab. I'm gonna make a fist. My thumb is gonna be on top. So the joints here, I'm gonna strike into the inside of his arm. I'm going to hammer fist down across his arm. I'm gonna punch into his arm shoulder. From here, he's gonna grab. When he grabs, I'm gonna back knuckle right into the same part of the arm, right into the biceps. I'm gonna roll around. Drop the arms out and I'm gonna back across his head. So we're gonna do that with him attacking me. He's gonna grab hold. He does his lapel grab. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna strike one, strike two, punch three. He grabs the other side. He starts to fall back. Back knuckle across the inside. Drop the arm down. Back knuckle to the face. And then mirror backwards to the neck. 
And then I'm gonna take my right leg, and I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna kick to his leg, take his leg out, and we're gonna get out of here. So let's do this from the other side. So again, this is deep bang his knee. He goes ahead and grabs hold. And he grabs hold. I'm just gonna anchor the hand straight to the inside. From here, I'm gonna grab down, hammer this down. I'm gonna punch right into his bicep. From here, as he grabs hold, I'm gonna back knuckle into it, roll the arm down, strike in, kick, and then get out of there. Let's do it one more time. I think we'll still do it from this side over here. I think that's what we'll look like. So from again, right here, I'm gonna come around, making the fist, thumbs out, knuckles out of the side. I'm gonna strike into this inside the arm. Hammer this down to clear the arm out of the way. Punch right into that spot right here with the arm next to the shoulder. From here, we just roll back into a back knuckle right into his arm. Take the same arm, drop it down. Back knuckle into his face or into the side of his neck. Kick the leg out. And then get out. Thank you very much. That is the fang mistake. Team, thank you very much for joining me for today's session. Remember, if you're doing this for on-demand class credit, please take a few seconds to record a video of yourself doing the self-defense. Send that to your on-demand coach so you can get class credit for today's workout. Everyone show me your natural stance. Snap to attention. Face front and back. Talk out your natural stance. Everyone have a great day. Baby, see ya.